to everyone that have ordered my new grips thanks a million for that i didn't know that this would be such a big thing uh they're just selling heavily so if you want to get some uh, I have five euros off if you order two a lot of people seem to love them and I'm so happy to finally see some uh, posts about they're getting the grips uh, I'm working my ass off every single day to just get everything sent out sent out sent out so uh, yeah I mean just look at that how clean does that look on a bike well Felix have been crashing a little bit but that's just amazing uh, I really love them I've learned that if you like a video on YouTube, that's, that helps out a lot. So do that. If you feel like you want to support my thing, uh, like the video. That would be awesome. I mean, come on. It's literally just down there. It takes one second to just scroll down and like it. Just do that. That would be nice. I mean, I do it all the time on other videos. So why wouldn't, like, I mean, come on. Just, just like the video. So this video will be filled with just things that I'm super, super stoked on. Both of the topics that I'm going to bring up today has been like a complete dream since I was a little child. And today it just hit me that I need to make a video about this because both of them actually is happening right in front of me, but I just re don't really think about it. I'm going to show you guys my brand new signature line together with TSG. To have your own signature line with a big brand last TSG uh, is a complete dream of mine. I wanted to have a signature line forever and it's just amazing that it finally happened. And I've been working for a long time together with TSG on a signature line. We've created a sick line together with a designer called Jonas Janssen and he absolutely killed it with this one. My whole line is a jersey, a long sleeve t-shirt, sort of like jersey-ish, but it's with a t-shirt material. And then we also have the like bike park slash contest uh, jersey material. Uh, and then we also have some pants. And yeah, I'm just super, super excited. This thing have been in the works for such a long time now together with TSG. Over the last year and a half, we've been working on the Max Fredericks on one line. They sent over a bunch of clothing so I can give out to my closest friends and just uh, have all the boys up and running with my signature line. Here will be shirts and here will also be some jerseys. Usually you guys see me wearing black, a lot of black, black, black. But I wanted this to be like some earthly colors kind of and some uh, clean tones but still like with a bit of color on them. The jersey... I got the inspiration from the douchebag uh, backpacks actually. I wanted to have a beige jersey and this is just so sick. A beige one with a bit of like green details here and there. Uh, this one is called MF1. Uh, Max Ferricks on one. A lot of jerseys with TSG like Pilgrim's line for example have a lot of colors But I want to just one color with a clean logo in the front like that and uh, To just have it clean. This will be the contest jersey. I'll be riding with this year. Uh, it matches great with the black black pants and uh, Yeah, I'm just super 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 duper stoked on this And in the back it's just one clean logo like that. This right here people as you can see when you open up a hoodie like that and then I have Max Fredericks online right there. That that is the reason why I'm so excited about this. Because now when people buy jerseys from TSG with my name on, that's just I don't know why. It might sound weird, but that's just a big goal that I've had for a long time to have a signature line. And now when I have it, it's just super super sick to see it. So I'm gonna be so happy every time I see someone out riding with my signature jerseys and stuff. Because so that's sick. This one is an XL. Uh, I like my contest jerseys to be a bit baggy. I just think it looks a bit sick on the live stream when there's a bit of a baggy jersey on. It's sick. And imagine just with my, my name in the back on the contest ones. Uh, I'm gonna be ripping this one in the bike park all summer long. Uh, just a clean fit. Some air things here so my armpits doesn't sweat up. Uh, a bit of a leather patch right here. Some sick smaller details like this one for example. You can uh, like wash your goggles on this material right here. That's really really handy. This one I want it to be just super super clean for every occasion. I can wear this one when going to like a like a rider's dinner or like a rider party or something. It's just sick but I can still rip it in the trails and have like a good time. This one is gonna be the one that I'm wearing the most I think because Obviously, I'm not wearing a jersey every single day when I'm out riding skate parks and stuff So you can wear this as a casual. You don't need to wear this for riding. It's dark gray with some lighter gray logos and the meshes so Yeah, super keen on this one as well. I'm gonna try it on. I want this fit to be a bit more like 
long because every time when I'm riding bikes, that's a thing I'm feeling. Like when I ride bikes in the tailups and stuff like that, they always jump up a bit too high. Uh, but this one uh, is a bit longer here, but it's still pretty like slim and nice, so it's not baggy. Because usually when you order bigger clothes, they're just getting ba baggier and baggier, and that's not really comfortable when you ride bikes, in my opinion. But yeah, as you can see, super clean. Stoked on it. Make sure that you head over to ridetsg.com and check out the website and uh, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go check out the whole line. Anyways, I know the uploads have been slacking a little bit lately. It's not really slacking. I've been on and off sick for a couple of weeks so that really just sucks. Uh, I don't have COVID but it's just been like the fake spring have taken uh, the best of me. So I've been getting like colds when I think it's warm but then I go out ride with not enough clothing on and then I get sick and it's just horrible. I've started contest prepping as well so uh, a lot of uh, heavy training is going on at the moment and uh, late night riding sessions to just uh, focus on that and not filming and being around other people. I like to just put my head down and ride when there's not a lot of people around. We started that now, Innsbruck is getting closer and I'm just super excited about that so I want to do it way better than I did last year. I want to get that second run that I didn't get to do last year and up it obviously. So I filmed a little bit the other day uh, with the next topic. Uh, I'm super 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 excited about that as well. But let's just cut to the next topic. Today is a very 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 exciting day. I just went, came back from the post office and picked up this bag and it says image custom from it so I I know what that is, Image Design Customs, and that is a company that is painting all of my monster lids. So TSG is sending helmets to this company that Monster hired, and that's how Monster helmet is made. Monster have been super kind to me, and uh, they've let me to do like some uh, really really nice designs together with this company. And uh, this time I'm just super excited to show you guys because uh, uh, it's been in the works for like half a year I'd say. I sent the first couple of designs then and then we've been throwing it back and forth, back and forth all the time. Uh, I've made one bucket helmet and two full face helmets. So we're gonna see how they look. Uh, one of them is a bit edgy, it would not be my typical style I'd say, but and two of them are just super super clean in my opinion. What should we start with? One of the full face helmet or yeah, yeah, the bucket yeah. helmets? One of these, okay. Uh, Oh, the smell, always. I obviously used uh, advanced graphic uh, from uh, TSG and... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna save that one. Uh, we're gonna go with this one instead. What an anti-climax that was. So... Oh... Oh... The thing is, I didn't want a full, fully black helmet for the full face helmet, so I actually went for a grey one. So we're gonna see how it looks. Oh! 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 Sheesh! Wow! So that is... Uh, my goal with this helmet was that it was supposed to be like a, a grey foundation and then with black, like if you look at, if you ever seen like desert dirt that cracks up or like concrete that cracks up, that's what I wanted, so, and that's in black, so super sick. And they also added the G GSQ logo, obviously, the ones that are on, on, the, on the slingers, you know. Uh, yeah, super excited about this one, what do you guys think? Looks so sick. This is one of my favorite ones for sure. Last year I went for the bronze and the uh, bronze brushed bronze thing, but now I kind of just wanted a bit more of a saddle one, but still like with some cool effects to it. And then with my name in the back. These helmets are so high end, like I don't get how they paint all of it, because it's like you can't even feel any sort of like layer differences anywhere. Yeah, that's one sick. All right. Uh, do that we'll, we'll do that one first and then save the edgy one for the last one. I have no idea about the edgy one is gonna look because that one is up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at the uh. uh. Is it weird that we're sniffing paint in the video? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see that I have a, I have a, a red thread throughout all my helmets. So this one's supposed to be the same, but with a black and gray effect instead. 
Ooh. with the GSQ blog on top, obviously. Yeah. I want to, I've, I've had like a lot of color on my last couple of helmets uh, and I wanted this one to just basically be, I wanted it plain black, but with just some subtle effects. So this one is super perfect for me. Just a black one, because it's so hard. Like the bronze one is hard to match with like cut clothing and protection uh, and bikes, I'd say so. This one's sick, love it. Wow, these guys are actually so good at painting. How good is that? I love it. Well done, boys. I guess you guys understand what the red thread throughout all my helmets are. It's uh, just cracked up dirt or cement or whatever. And this one have a black base and I wanted like the cracks to stick out a little bit. So I don't know how this is gonna look at all, but like on the designs on the computer it looked super sick. So we'll see how this ends up, but oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, this is my Yo. favorite one for sure. Holy damn. Wow. Yeah, so as you can see, I went for the chrome cracks everywhere. Wow, like when you move the helmet, everything just reflects. Yeah, this one is. Wow. <laughs> this one ended up. Damn. It, it's so funny because I thought this one would be my absolute favorite one because it's great and a bit different, but I mean. Yeah, my first couple of helmets for the season. So hopefully I don't crash these too soon. I don't know what we're gonna cut to now. Should we just do a bit of a quick montage and then we're gonna cut to something else? I don't know. We're just filming random stuff all the time and then we're cutting together vlogs. I'd say so. Yeah, sounds good. Montage and then something else. Yeah. back here again uh, hope you guys weren't too bored and if you're still watching this video that means that you are a real one and I appreciate you a lot sometimes I don't need to hack my life out to make a video I feel like uh, sometimes uh, it works to just do like this show you guys some exciting things and talk a little bit with you and try to be upfront with you guys so hopefully you enjoyed it uh, I want to be back sending it ASAP and you're gonna see some videos from that really really soon yeah leave a like if you want that would help me so Otherwise, just, yeah, see you in the next video or something. I don't know. <laughs> Peace.